Hey, welcome back. So this is the last video in the second series. And in this video, we're getting to the last stage performing of the four stages of the group dynamic. And we've talked already about problem solving. Now what we're gonna talk about is resilience and routines both personal resilience and communal resilience. Personal resilience is my ability to push through challenges and to bounce back from setbacks and you know to keep myself um, safe and healthy in a challenging situation. And communal resilience is that same thing but applied more to a community as they are able to be resilient as a community in the face of challenges. And I wore this shirt on purpose because El Paso is an incredible story of communal resilience as Right after a crisis they had last summer in 2019, the community really came together and really protected each other and built and supported each other in really powerful ways, um, both emotionally and through actual, actual support and donations and activities. And so we'll talk a little bit that, about that more as we get through. All right, so let's talk a little bit about personal resilience. Our resilience is something that helps us be less vulnerable. Vulnerability is our susceptibility to issues or to obstacles or to challenges or even to, to health issues. And so we want to build things into our routines and into our days that are going to make us more resilient and less vulnerable. It turns out that there are habits and routines that have a dramatic effect on our resilience. You know, things and habits that are like getting good sleep and exercise and engaging in projects that we're passionate about and connecting with friends and family. Even if we're distant, we can still connect through other ways. And then also things like maybe creating peace of mind. Those are all important things that we need to try to build into our routines. When I first started shelter in place, um, I was sleeping in and I was, you know, eating unhealthy snacks every day. Whenever I was, you know, feeling a little bit stressed out, I was scrolling endlessly through doom and gloom, negative news and social media. And I was just feeling blah as I was not really taking care of myself. And so after a couple of days of this, the good news is, is my wife and I both were feeling this and we said, hey, we need to come up with a better routine. The first thing we decided to do is get up early in the morning at the same time every day, even though we didn't have something we had to do, and get in some exercise. And that really helped us a lot. And that's really a big piece of this is building into your schedule routines that autom automatize these key things that make us more resilient. As that started to be effective for us, uh, my daughter started asking questions about it. And then eventually, my son the same thing, and eventually we built a family routine. And this is our family routine that we built, and my daughter drew it up. It's not any kind of hard and fast thing, but it's something that's kind of been working for us. So my wife and I like to get up early, walk the dog, and get started with work. My kids, they all are gonna sleep in. But we have a standing 11 o'clock breakfast for them, lunch for us, we plan the afternoon. Then we get going in our work projects. Eventually we have family time together in the evenings. We go to bed whenever we want. But this is our schedule that works for us. And I think what's important is for you to find a schedule that works individually for you. And if possible, find a schedule that works for you as a family. Make sure every day that you're building in good rest and exercise and getting some nutrition, but also you're building in real engagement and things that you're passionate about, real connection with people that you care about, both in close and people that are distant away. And last but not least, really work on reducing the amount of time that you are consuming doom and gloom news. You gotta stay abreast of the information, but at the same time, you can't spend so much time on dark things and not feel like it's soaking your energy. Because you can build schedules that are gonna make you more resilient, both physically resilient and emotionally and mental health resilience in the situation. And you really want that. And then if you can find a schedule that works together as a family unit, that we can all lean on each other and support each other, then you can build more communal resilience as a family and you guys can become family strong which could be really helpful in this time. So what I want you to do is I want you to work on building some of those resilience skills into your own routine and your family routine 
And by doing this, I think it's gonna give you a better chance to be safe, healthy, and keep finding some reasons to smile. I'll see you in the next series.